Are they gonna ride for me? Are they gonna ride for me? Are they gonna ride for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are they gonna ride? Lonely, lonely. Are they gonna ride? Lonely, lonely. Are they gon' ride for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what's up? What's happening? It's Kay. Hey, we back in this thing. Kay, show goody. Sleep with a cut up or turn out on the tongue. Hey, we ask ourselves that question every day. Are they gon' ride for me? Turns out Draco's team was riding for him. But from some reports, it says some other shit. Now, this is going to be a two-for-one for one, you know what I'm saying? Or I might give y'all one. Now, I might just put everything in one video because I ain't going to see him look this shit, bro. Somebody died. I'm going to just give it to you. So, first half, we're going to talk about Draco's passing. And in the second half, we got some claims that allegedly, you know, YG is, you know, a reason that some of this stuff has transpired. So, we're going to talk about this shit, you know what I'm saying? So, we're going to get into it now. Before I get into it, I just want to say my condolences to Draco the Ruler. I do fuck with him. My condolences to his friends, his family, of course, the fan. I fuck with Bro Heavy. I heard some music. He's a talented dude. One of like the few really, really independent artists, especially to get noticed from Drake and for Drake to hop on the song. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous, man. You got to respect him. Now, Draco was beefing with a lot of niggas. What was it? The Stink Team? That was his squad to beefing with a lot of niggas. Hey. So I'm not going to act like he wasn't in the street team. He might have not had a lot of enemies, but still, man, it still hurt to see this happen. Especially at a music festival this happened. He got stabbed in the neck in an altercation. That's just fucked up, bro. We going to read this shit and get into it, man. That's just crazy, man. That shit hurt. When I read this shit, bro, I hurt my heart. I didn't even know what to do. But, like, it wasn't 100% confirmed, so I didn't do the video on it. That's why I'm late on this one. I trust I'm late on a lot of shit, but this one I waited. But anyways... Draco the Ruler confirmed dead following stabbing at festival in Los Angeles. So, reports say that the 28-year-old... Wow, he's 28. What's the... Yo, he a big nigga for 28. Sorry. Reports say that the 28-year-old rapper was stabbed in the neck. Hundidi. Hundidi. The rapper... Hundidi rapper Draco the, Ru the Ruler has died following a stabbing in Los Angeles's Once Upon a Time Festival. TMZ, the hip-hop police who know everything, they have a crystal ball. The in say, the incident is said to have taken place backstage around 8.30 p.m. With law enforcement sources having confirmed that Draco was one was the one who was hit with who was hit when the fight broke out. So LAPD, uh, California Highway Patrol, and the fire department responded, rushing the recording artist to a nearby hospital. It's been alleged that the 28-year-old was hit in the neck, but the article notes that these remain unconfirmed for the time being. They are confirmed now. An investigation is ongoing with cops reaching out to artists and their uh, entourages who were in the area at the time and may have more information the tragic news comes just weeks after the california native dropped off a new project so code i do him so so code i do him too there was an altercation in the roadway backstage out of respect for those involved and in, in core coordination with local authorities are <coughs> fuck me Artists and organization, organizers decided not to move forward with remaining sets, so the festival was ended an hour early. A Live Nation spokesperson confirmed to the Los Angeles Times. In the hours following the news, tributes to the late star have been pouring in. Nah, man, this ish isn't right. For real, what the F is going on? You know, Drake, Canadian rapper Drake, wrote on Instagram, Always pick my spirit up with your energy. R.I.P. Draco. Man... Especially the battle he had, too, with all, all his court cases and him getting out, coming back to his career was just crazy. Draco the Ruler's passing is particularly upsetting seeing as he beat the odds, finding himself being acquitted of the murder and attempted murder charges he's previously received. The Daily Beast reports that the most original West Coast stylist in decades was released from prison in November of last year and went on to earn his first billboard with, hit with Talk To Me featuring Drake in early 2021. R.I.P. my nigga Draco. 
So yeah, that's man. Like I seen that shit. That shit broke my heart in the morning when I seen that motherfucking shit, man. Now we got some shit, cause he got an associate called K Seven, the finesser, saying that why he set up this shit at his mama, his goddamn mama, his mommy. Oh, I actually should stop with the energy. Also states that YG was involved somehow. Now me, I don't know. I ain't from the West Coast, thank God. Listen, I fuck with California, LA. I can't live there, bro. Too much. Number one, too much bullshit. Number two, bro. So, hey, some of the, hey, man, I just can't live in LA, bro. I'm sorry. Anyways, we're gonna talk about this. So, Drake of the Ruler affiliate case K Seven the Finesse. I'm gonna fuck up with this name. Says YG set up the attack and stabbing. So, so K K Seven. K7 the finesser thinks YG set up the attack on the rapper, which led to the fatal stabbing. So, following days after Drake the Ruler's stabbing and death in Los Angeles, multiple theories have been brought to light from those closest to the rapper. We've heard his mother earlier this week who said that her son was rushed by 40 to 60 people. I, it, it, they did say YG had a lot of people with him. 40 to 60 people the moment YG walked into the backstage area. In a video showing the fight before, which I will not put that in this video, before Draco was stabbed in the neck, many people could be seen wearing 400 merchandise, which is YG's brand. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of wanted to buy a piece. A couple articles of that clothing. I don't, I don't think, think I, I should at this time. I don't think I should at this time, but anyways. Now, Draco's affiliate rapper K7, the finesse, is claiming that he thinks YG set up the attack on the late 28-year-old. So, K7 says YG's crew was allowed to roam backstage with about 70 people carrying weapons. However, Draco was restricted to 15 on his team, and they were and they were all checked for weapons before being escorted inside. K7 thinks that YG had Draco killed because he was afraid that the rapper was coming up, coming for his spot as one of the top superstars in Los Angeles. Now, I don't know if that's to be true. This is what K K7 is saying. We'll see what happens. I believe, me personally, there was space for both of them to be in the scene. I feel like the scene is big enough, to be honest. But hey, I digress. Now, this is a quote from K7. I'm speaking facts, bro. YG is a real-life B-word, N-word. He's a real-life B-word, N-word, said K7 in the live stream. All them N-words is ishes on my mama. YG did some ho-ass-ish. If I see K, I'm going to slap the ish out of that N-word. K7 says that YG security snuck in knives and other weapons, warning YG, warning YG that he can't perform in LA no more after this. There's another quote from K7. So. It's weird because Draco tried to F with the Bloods when he got out of jail, said K7. N-words is hating. YG a real B-word because he knew Draco was going to take his spot. He set the whole ish up. This ish was a setup from the start. If you want to see K7's thoughts, there is a video about it. You could go search for it and you could break down exactly what happened. Now, again, I ain't from LA. The politics work different out there. I ain't going to say it. It's different. The only thing I know about LA, hey, you wear, you, all the teams, no team hats. No team hats, no team merchandise. They might think you part of something. You know what I'm saying? You got to be dolo, nigga. Hey, I go to you in the club, nigga. Hey, no markings on nothing. Outside, you hear me? But, yeah, besides all that, in, in seriousness, yeah, like, it's just crazy out there right now, bro. It's just, like, really, it's really crazy out there. Well, in general, <laughs> the world is a fucking crazy place. But, like, it's just really crazy out there for what you expect L.A. to be. Being like this lavish place and stuff. Well, I, it has its parts, but like that was just like everywhere. But it's just fucked up. It is just fucked up. Now again, I don't know. There's politics with this whole shit. Niggas be politicking just like there's politics in the government. Let's not act like that ain't such. So who knows exactly what happened? Maybe there's some validity to K7's claims. I personally don't know. I don't know what the fuck happened. All I know, Draco sadly passed away. So we will see what happens. I want to hear more information about this. Now, do I know if YG and Draco had some prior issues? I don't know. I didn't think so, but maybe there was something there. I'm not saying YG had something to do with the death of Draco the Ruler. But hey, who fucking knows? I don't know they had beef. We don't know shit. Let's keep it a buck. We don't know shit. We trying to, like, 
come together and figure this shit out ourselves. At this point, I might need Chicago Scene 88 to do an LA series to figure this shit out. Since he clearly f figured out the FBG Duck shit. You know what I'm saying? But all jokes aside, you know what I'm saying? My condolences to Draco the Ruler. Hopefully they find who fucking did this, you know? And he gets his just punishment. And that's about it. But my condolences to his family, his friends, you know? His, of course, the fans. And yeah, bro. Like, honestly, put some of your favorite music by Draco in the, in the comments below. What's your favorite memory of Draco? It just sucks because I he was battling that kiss for so long and he finally got out. I saw he was even like dropping projects or some shit. Or he was on people's like projects while he was in jail. And he finally got out too and he was doing and he was going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just that story, like just doing his thing and coming out, doing his thing, bro. It just sucks. It just sucks, man. It's just crazy. Again, who knows? Like I said, why did you couldn't do the security guard? Who fucking knows? We at this point, we 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 try to just grab anything that sticks at this point. But who who fucking knows, man? All I know, somebody died who I didn't want to pass away, and a bright flame in hip hop has suddenly been extinguished, and that is a sad tale. So my condolences again to Draco the Ruler. I said what I said. You know what time I'm on. You know what type of video this is. It's been K.A. I appreciate y'all for today. Like and subscribe. I'm off for this. Shlam Zoom Peace. Y'all. I was